make sure that you can legally own and possess a suppressor where you live. Secondly, acquire the correct permissions needed to build one. For me, in the US, that is a tax stamp. Although I have a lathe, I am a novice user, and don't have the tooling and skills to properly turn carbon steel. Instead, I ordered most of the parts, and then produced a die to press baffles with. Yes, the music in this video is supposed to be funny, if not somewhat annoying. that funky beat. Potioners. I carefully measured where the pressure relief holes should go. I then used a center punch to indent the die. Now the marks transfer to the baffle when pressed. I made a baffle holder for drilling the pressure relief holes out of scrap wood and pipe. 
Now the angled part of the baffle is at 90 degrees to the drill bit. You just rotate it to the next mark. Here is a demonstration of how to press a baffle. Dig that funky beat. Faux schnezzle. Dig that funky beat. Faux schnezzle. Oops, I broke two cheap Chinese vices pressing baffles. I switched over to the shop press, which I should have been using from the beginning.
the whole thing laid out. Here's a view with a flashlight shining in the ejection port, looking through the door. Give us two more. 